in this question that we are having over here so it uh, it is talking about the number of uh, registers that will be required so this program below it uses six temporary variables a b c d e f and assuming that all the operations take their operands from registers what is the minimum number of registers required to execute this program without spilling what is what is spilling mean spilling means that if a particular variable is not being used for a very long time it will be stored into the memory and then brought back later from the memory when it is needed but here this pro this question says that we do not want to use spilling that means all the variables they have to be stored in the registers of the processor only so let's start first is a is equal to 1 that means we need one register to store the value of variable a so let's assume that we are using r1 register and we are putting the value of a in this register then b is equal to 10 so again we need another register because we cannot overwrite a the value of a a is being used in one of the subsequent instructions that means we need the value of a so we cannot use r1 for storing the value of b so let's use r2 for storing the value of b now if you see b is also being used over here so for c also we will require a third register let's call it r3 so c is stored in r3 our next instruction is adding a plus b and putting it in another variable d so a and b will be added in the alu and now this result needs to be stored in another register which would be used for variable d if you look at these instructions we know that a is not being used subsequently that means a is a dead variable now so if a is a dead variable that means we can use register r1 to store the value of d now so r1 will now be used to store the value of d and this is containing the sum of a and b our next instruction is addition of c and d and store it in e so once c and d have been taken to the alu for addition now if you see in the subsequent instructions d is being recomputed again over here it is not being used in the right hand side of any further arithmetic expression it will be recomputed here so d is not required so we can store the value of e in r1 only so we can write overwrite d and store the value of c, uh, c and d the addition of c and d in r1 next instruction is f is equal to c plus e so if we do f is equal to c plus e we can use now register r2 for this why is that because we see that in the next instruction over here b is being recomputed again that means b is not required in the next instruction it will be recomputed over here its original value is not required so we can overwrite b in register r2 to store the value of f so f we have put over here and we are overwriting b over here the next instruction is requiring the addition of c and e and recomputation of the variable b so c plus e we can recompute and now since in further instructions c is not being used anywhere because c is now dead so we can use register r3 to store the new value of b which is the sum of c and e in the next instruction we are having addition of b and f b is available here f is available here and e was already there in r1 so e that same register is now can be used to update the value of e so it is storing the updated value of e now which is the addition of b and f now for this purpose we can either use uh, uh, r1 or if there is any other available uh, uh, register where we feel that the 
uh, variable is dead or is not being used anywhere we can use but we see that d is also required over here and uh, we need to compute d over here so here 5 plus e e is not going to be used anywhere so we can use r1 and we can also use r3 because b is also not being going to be used anywhere so r1 or r3 can be used to store the new value of d the last thing that needs to be done is to add d and f so d is available in r1 f is available in r2 and to add them up in the alu and return the value to the memory location or wherever it is required by or maybe probably it is required by a calling program so it will be returned to the calling program so we can see that only by using three registers we can you uh, solve this uh, program we can execute this program and only three registers will be required to store the operands so every time we have to check whether a particular variable is dead or not whether d will be like in this case d is not being used in further uh, instructions or whether a particular variable is being recomputed so these are the things that need to be checked